Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Jennifer Tomazzini and for today's video, I'm gonna show you my uh, skincare routine, like my morning routine. Um, some of you guys requested it, so that's why I wanna show it to you. So that's why you see me without makeup. I look really, really weird and really, really pale. pale. But I just get up, uh, so I just have my ramper romper on and sorry that it's a little bit dirty and I'm just gonna show you what I do in the morning so if you guys are interested let's keep watching shall we so yeah uh, the first thing in the morning <clears throat> I just wash my face with um, uh, really cold water and this I already did and afterwards afterwards I go in with um, like an oldie but a goodie. It's the uh, Missler Cleansing Water, the one from Garnier. I do use this one and also the Bioderma one. The Bioderma is also amazing. Um, but this one also work as well. In the morning, I really don't want to use lotions uh, or cream or oil to take off um, the night before um, makeup and stuff. Um, so I try just to uh, um, use micellar water. I feel like it's more gentle to my skin. So I'm just gonna take a cotton pad that I have right here. It looks like this, just a like regular one, and just I just go in with a little bit of micellar water. Now I'm gonna show you how I do it. Nothing particularly fancy, and I just cleanse all my face and also uh, my eyes. For those who don't know, I have normal to uh, dry skin um, so and not at all sensitive so this works just fine I do have a pimple right here and right here um, yeah but other than that my skin looks pretty good right now as you may know you see I have like a little bit of black under my eyes that's because of my night shift <laughs> And doing a lot of shifts because of my work as you guys know I'm a nurse and I feel like after 30 like I'm 30 right now I feel like you see it much more than before before I never had um, under eye problem but now I really see a huge difference <laughs> in my skin so now I cleanse everything and it's very very dirty <laughs> So that's good that I use that. So this I love a lot. And this also for uh, all type skin and it's also for sensitive skin. So this one is very good. Next product that I use is a toner. Um, for me it's important to tone every day, like in the morning and at night. And the one I've been using a lot and I have been loving is, sorry for the hairs, <laughs> is the uh, Pixi Skin Treats Glow Tonic. Uh, it looks like this. And I did buy uh, a small version of it before in Sephora. I tried them out and I do like it a lot. It gives you like, it really tones really good and also I feel like it gives a little bit of glow. And uh, I saw this one in Switzerland, I bought it in Mariona. They have like the bigger size, it's, I think it's 100 milliliters. No more, it's 250 milliliters uh, bottle, so I bought it immediately. It's so good and it smells also really good. So I do the same, I take a cotton pad, put some product on it, and this one really makes your skin more clean. I feel like just with the micellar water, it's not enough. I do need to tone to feel that I really clean the skin before applying any other product on my skin. And it's still very dirty, this cotton pad, it's incredible. Yeah, it looks like this. So it's very, very dirty still. Incredible, huh? So, and I'm just watching my mirror, that's why I'm watching on this side. But as you see, try to cleanse as good as possible. <clears throat> so now I'm done. So first I clean, I the clean with the micellar water, then I the toner pixie. And then the second product that I'm gonna use is uh, an essence. And I have been using the SK2 um, essence 
Um, I don't like it that much. A lot of people was raving so much about it. It was such a hype product in the industry because I think it was one of the first essence water to come into the market. Um, I tried it out, but I was not a fan. The thing that was bothering me so much was the, the scent of it. Like the scent was, it smelled so bad literally smelled really bad so I, I couldn't put it on my skin I think the product the product was actually really good but the smell took over like my liking so yeah I didn't use the whole bottle I think I used half of it and then I gave it to my mom <laughs> because it was actually not for me um, so now I have Essence, then after SK2 I didn't use an Essence for a very very long time and I wanted to use another one, give another try and I bought the uh, La Mer one, the treatment lotion, this one and I love it. I saw a girl from YouTube, the Jamie Queen I think it calls, she's a really good YouTuber, she do a lot of reviews especially on La Mer but also other skincare products. And she was raving about this treatment, treatment lotion, so that's why I wanted to try it. And I have to be honest, I love it. And I have been using it every single day. And look, like literally you need the smallest amount uh, on morning and night. You will never finish this product. <laughs> so I just take a little bit, like a tiny, tiny bit. I just warm it up until in my hands and then I just pat it in my skin and also the eyes. Don't forget your eyes and your neck. Never forget your neck. That's so important. And this product, what it does, it makes your skin more hydrated and it makes the other product um, go into the skin much better. And yeah such a good product and it doesn't have a smell a particular smell it's very very gentle and yeah as you guys saw like I use a tiny tiny bit so this one I really recommend then afterwards I go in with um, something a little bit extra but I love it is the elixir beauty uh, mist I think it calls from Caudalier and this is for all skin type and this is just like a skin mist and I just love it to just spray all around my face and what it actually does it makes your um, your skin glow from within and also makes your skin very very smooth um, yeah it calls elixir beauty elixir from Caudalier it's kind of expensive, I think it costs 45 francs or something, it's like $45, and, but it's so good. I love the smell, um, it's not too strong, and also I feel like it really makes your skin look better. Um, when I've been using this one, I, I didn't saw as much pimples and as I usually get, so I feel like this one is actually uh, one of these holy grail that I always repurchase all over again. This one you can also actually use as a setting spray and I also using it as a setting spray so before and after and yeah I do love this one. I do recommend it a lot. Afterwards I go in with my um, eye cream or eye serum and my favorite for the, for the longest time was the La Mer one, um, the eye concentrate. Uh, eye cream, the green one, and it's the best, to be honest. I do love that, but it's so expensive, so I try to buy that one once a year, not more, because I feel like you do can use like a tiny, tiny bit, so you, you will have it a very long time, but at the same time, you know, more than a year, then it will be finished, and I feel like, for me, I think it... I think I had it for, when I bought it, I think after three, no, after five months, I have to repurchase it. So I didn't do that. I've been trying now a new one, the Drunk Elephant One Shaba Complex Eye Serum with copper peptides. And it looks like this. You open it up, let me see, like that. And this one is also good for um, wrinkles under the eyes area, it hydrates. And you can also use it all around the eyes and also up here. So it's a very gentle serum. And to be honest, I do love it a lot. This will be my dupe for my <laughs> La Mer. Uh, so when I don't have La Mer, I will definitely repurchase this one. 
and I just also use a tiny bit just warm it up into my fingers and then I just pat it in everywhere I just do like this I do feel like it hydrates a lot especially under my eye area and also it's very good for wrinkles it really reduces the wrinkles around your eyes. It's so good. To be honest, I don't put it on the lid. I just pull it around because I don't really like to do that. But you can do that if you want to. So that's really good. So, and now I'm good to go with my eye serum. Uh, then I go in with my serum that I use. Uh, so the first serum is the vitamin C because I feel like everyone should have a vitamin C in the morning and in the night a retinol so in the morning I use the vitamin C anti-aging serum and this one is from El Devin Beauty and this I bought as a set uh, on Amazon uh, it comes with three bottles and the third one I don't have here with me uh, but it's like a vitamin C, it's like a hyaluronic acid, and the third one is the retinol one. So what I do, I use the hyaluronic acid every day, also morning and night, and the vitamin C in the morning, and the retinol at night. And it's a really cool brand, I've never heard about it before, but um, yeah, it works really good. So this one is the vitamin C, it's the anti-aging, I just take two drops, also warm it up. And then I just pat it in everywhere, like on my cheeks, on my forehead, on my chin, and of course, never forget your neck. This is also really important. People forget the neck all the time. So now when I put, put in the vitamin C on, I will go in with the hyaluronic acid moisturizing serum, and it's this one. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I will link everything down below. So also two drops, warm it up and then put it into my skin. I feel like after 30 you do need to use a vitamin C product um, and also a hyaluron acid. Um, and people in the evening also have to start using retinol. Retinol do wonder for your skin, like actually, but you'd have to be careful with it. Uh, I have been using the 1% um, three times a week, uh, but at the beginning you do have to be very careful and use maybe once a week. But you do see result not like immediately. It takes about two to four weeks until you will uh, see a difference in your skin. I do feel like my skin it's more tightened, the pores are more tight, um, The I feel like the wrinkles are reduced here on the side and also here and also here on the forehead. So I feel like you do need to take care of your skin, actually always. Better to prevent. So these were all my serums that I use for my skin and next will be my cream. So for the night, I used um, a little bit more like um, mo more moisturizing um, product and it's the La Mer, the usual one, the moisturizing cream. And this one is my ultimate favorite, my holy grail um, skincare product, to be honest. I have been using it for like two years now and it's like there is nothing to compare to it. It's like the best, but I didn't feel like for that money that you spend on this product, you can't use it twice a week, it, twice a day. It doesn't make any sense. It's like such an expensive product and I think it do wonder in the night and not as much in the morning. So in the morning, I do want to use another type of product. I have been using a little bit more gel-like products, like for example, the Hydro Boost that I've been talking about before from Neutrogena. It's a beautiful, beautiful product that I've been using in the morning. And my new um, product I'm obsessed with that I've been using just in the morning is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Magic Cream. It looks like this, Charlotte Tilbury. It's a little bit more um, thick and consistent. It reminds me a little bit of the consistent of the La Mer one. And it's not as um, lightweight as the Hydro Boost Neutrogena, but because of the weather right now, it's like 
like snowing, it's so cold, we have minus, uh, minus one degree, so it's very, very cold outside. Outside, I do wanna use something a little bit more um, moisturizing and a little bit more thick consistency, and this one is beautiful. So what I've been doing, I just take the smallest amount, because you don't need much, like this, and just, the same as La Mer, just warm it up, and then I just press it into my skin, and to be honest, it doesn't break me out. It makes your skin very glowy. And it also, um, I feel like it's so moisturizing. The smell, it's so beautiful, it's so good. And of course, never forget the neck. So, um, and this one I have been using for the past two months. And I do love it a lot, um, so I do recommend it. This calls uh, Charlotte's Magic Cream Insta Turnaround Moisturizing, and it's SPS 15, and that's also very important. That's also why I wanted to use it during the day because you do need SPF every day, and I don't want to use SPF like that you buy usually for um, when you go to vacation and stuff because that breaks me out so bad. So I do try to find a skincare product and a moisturizing cream that actually has already in it SPF. It's so much better. And SPF 15, it's not bad at all, to be honest. So I do highly recommend this and I will also link this one right down below. The last product that I use is, of course, moisturizing the lips that you never have to forget. And my Holy Grail product is also from La Mer. You guys know that. I will link down below also my video on my top five La Mer products. And this one is, of course, of course the lip balm. Uh, I have been using it so much and it's almost empty, but you know, I still can use it a lot before it's totally uh, done. And I just moisturize the lips because my lips are very dry in the morning. So. And this one has like a minty flavor to it. And it's the only one who really moisturizes, that really moisturizes my lips completely. So, do recommend this. Um, yeah, check it out. So guys, that's what, that was it for my morning routine. And if you guys have any questions, please write down below, comment down below. Uh, if you like the video, click a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye.